never forget who is the problem here. And so when they come and say, well, look, America is the one who's going to help you in this, then we have to remind them, go back to the beginning of the war on terror. When we were investigating cases of individuals being put on rendition flights to Syria, where they had the soles of their feet beaten by the Syrian regime the moment they arrived in prison. And who sent them there? The Americans, the CIA sent them. In 2002, in the beginning of the war on terror, that means that the Americans were working close, hand in hand, hand in glove, with the regime of Bashar al-Assad. My colleague Asim Qureshi has already said the cases of several, several individuals who were extraordinarily renditioned by the U.S. regime, by the U.S. government, to the regime of Bashar al-Assad. Takbir! Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا فَسَدَ أَهْلَ الشَّامَ فَلَا خَيْرَ فِيكُمْ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if the people of Syria are corrupted, then there is no good left in you. And I see this night, inshallah, there is great good still left in the Ummah. And that means that Ummah of, of Asham is still not corrupted. Bi'idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This gathering today, in a matter of few hours, hundreds of brothers and sisters coming together is a sign of positivity and a revival and a sign of victory from Allah Jalla wa Ala. We need a Khalif who will clean up these streets and who will smack up armies and who will back beef. Backhand your missiles back to your land, that's the plan. Backhand your missiles back to your land, that's the plan. World domination at hand, we can expand and take out these fools. You Allah, we believe in you Allah. Victory comes from you Allah, not for the UN, not from Turkish government, not from anybody.